Underscoring the warnings about climate change, the forecast called for temperatures to soar to over 32 degrees in Washington, possibly hitting a record high. As the Trump administration rolls back Barack Obama's policies to protect against climate change, a number of voices pushed back. It is shameful that the president who comes from New York could deny that climate change is an environmental issue. It's not fake news, Mr. President. Just last night, the Environmental Protection Agency began an overhaul of its website. The science of climate change will be put under review. We are going to fight for science every single day until Donald Trump is no longer the president of the United States. It's a different, more specific message from when this march was first held three years ago, and 300,000 people marched through New York. These climate march events are being held in cities all around the world today. There's no question the focus this year is Donald Trump and his policies. And we're seeing that here at the event in Toronto as well. We share a border, a massive border with the U.S. So when they're getting their environmental laws, that has a huge impact on us. The march ended near the U.S. consulate. But people here aren't happy with Canadian policies either and have this message for the government. To take uh, stronger consideration of uh, the long-term effects generations down the line, not just how uh, the economy today is going to be impacted. More environmental regulations, like not um, allowing the pipelines for sure and cutting down on the Alberta power stands. The federal government insists its policies are balancing the environment with the needs of the economy. It plans to take that message to the upcoming UN Climate Change Conference, where countries will work out the details of the Paris Agreement signed last year. Donald Trump hasn't confirmed whether the U.S. will stay in that deal. Lorenda Redekop, CBC News, Toronto.